I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today we are going to be continuing The Wolf Among Us. We are officially on episode three and the last episode, episode, the last episode things got really intense. So if you guys want to see what happened and everything and all that stuff and be caught up, I have a playlist on my channel called The Wolf Among Us so you can just get caught up with that. But anyways, we're just going to get into the video because I, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? My Ugh. reaction exactly. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? <laughs> Photographical e evidence? Crane's Photographical. Oh, oh, oh. Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. That's true. Just remember that. Blah. <laughs> Ew. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I mean, if we're here, there's something I we don't need to interrupt um, right now. We can offend tell her you afterwards. by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. I'll miss worrying and about will, you. In time, I'll miss our fights. Equal in I'll strength miss you. to our mourning her loss. Holly. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been Now so you will never sharing. die from indifference Your or lead a tedious How life. She could be Goodbye, stubborn sweetheart. And patient. Thanks for everything. Rash and thoughtful. Vivian. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um pageantry. You were a big, bright, and shining all, star in this shithole of Lily a town. Loved and I miss you already. Loved her friends and Gran. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Anything else for me to check out? No? I'll just Bigby, stay right. Oh, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not um... after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well and you have the nerve to show your face here. After you lie, after you promise me, 
Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Oh, damn. We couldn't even get... Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Was, Don't I was like, I, cover for When him. she said like, something genuine, about... Like, Wait, wait, wait. When she said something about the witching, the witching well, I think it's called, I was like, what? I don't, what are you talking about? I don't remember anything about that. Like, wasn't she killed? How could she be thrown down that? But now I realize, oh, they didn't get the body. That's really fucked up. Okay. Is um, it his fault? You can't tell me. Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one go. isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Nah! <laughs> I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Okay, uh, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just going to sit here Please, and... Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Yeah, plus I didn't want to show that photo Look, in front of Holly, everyone. I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Well... Pigby? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... no. listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like... You, while well, he was, you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Big B... Don't confuse ah. things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I, didn't... I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. I don't want to show her the picture. Snow? Like when she Marissa? She doesn't want to picture what is it? it so. I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No. Ah, okay. I'm really confused here because do I just say it was Crane's room and then everyone knows it's Crane? Mm hmm. I don't know. What would I do here? Um, I think I'm just gonna say. Yeah, Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa. Yeah. Um, coming. 
At least she knows what happened, and I didn't just fully say it. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. Dude, are you, know you joking? How this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. Is Ichabod their boss? And that's why he was like, I have to be loyal because Ichabod was there? If that's the case, I'm... We'll snip to the chase for all Hits. sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, I don't want to say yes. Please, rest easy. This is not. What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your. What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Ah! Holly! They shot Holly? Ah. I got it, dumb! Is like, are they gonna be okay? Do those bullets? Oh no! Oh, that was intense. shot to the like where they're injured and they could die or if they were shot but they can't get killed like they'll just get a little hurt So he's okay. But are, I did as well as I could to Holly take out okay? the buckshot, but the there's other? still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Will do. Don't go looking he for said, any more fun. He said, like, mm, but my brain read mile per hour. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and yes, they're back okay. at her bar Thank God. with a dose okay, of good, juniper good, good, good. and spring water. 
I was afraid Just that because I didn't agree that the stupid the deal... The stitches that won't hold up happened. if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. ring a ding ding Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it, then. Miss White? Big B? What's wrong? So, to recap... Is it because he's not wearing Green a shirt? watched me through the magic mirror, uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. I agree with that. What the hell is going on? But, like, maybe we should all work just, together on the mirror then? I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes... Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly... Anytime. I do feel bad for Holly. Also. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. But after tonight... Sure. Offense? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels... Kind of like home. And I've heard it said that... Maybe in... Some... Tiny little bottled up way, deep inside... You kind of... Enjoy it. When things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. He stole a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. All right, let's go looking. He picked up the genie bottle to break it. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. 
His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Okay. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. Yeah. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. We gotta keep searching, 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 searching. Oh, it's boy Pinocchio says, is, oh. I like building maintenance letters. Did Green Mr. ever Toad. do any work? <gasps> Only when Cole was around. <gasps> Where is the it? key? It's the key to his room at the open arms. Even more evidence. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I ah, need to know. Green fine. was uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Oy, um... Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. What's in the little drawer? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin oh. overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Well, he did just Night. tell us. 2 a.m. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert, or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know ah. that Crane's going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put 
put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there <laughs> he at two. He just needed to so add that in that there. that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads no, evaporate into the mist? Evidence? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. No. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Find the witch? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I feel like Crane's apartment is the one that makes the most sense because, but no, what if it isn't? What if he? took everything already. I'm stuck with two, I don't want to go to D's office. I'm stuck, like, I, I, it's a plan, but it's not like the most, it's not the most important one right now. So I'm stuck between Holly's bar and Crane's apartment. Crane's apartment makes the most sense because it's his apartment. It'll have the most secrets. But what if he took stuff? Holly's bar is a good idea, but what if she already burnt all of her sister's stuff already? And then we're just wasting time. I think he, he would have taken everything. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope I do too. Book of Fables. Troll funeral rites. The gaze of Great Mother Death is always upon us. Beneath her affectionate eye, we fight our battles. We nurse our runes. We show our victories. We endure our sorrows. And when we fall, she is there. Her embrace is the silence of the mountain, the heavy peace of the stone. Approximately translated. A troll funeral is a sacred ritual passed down by oral traditions from troll mother to son. It begins at sunset with the creation of the cairn. 
Karn. <laughs> a small pile of stones to represent the many generation of trolls that have traveled and died before them. The foundation upon which the living stand. Weapons are divided amongst the trolls' closest comrades. The body and the rest of their possessions are burned, and though each viewer must speak to the life of the lost, the eulogies Kandor would make a Mundi blush. Karn? 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 How the fuck do you say that word? Vivian. Much of Vivian's past is unknown, so she prefers not to talk about her life back in the homeland. She wanted to start fresh in Fable Town, but she finds herself looking for Georgie at the Pudding and Pie. It's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take jobs at the Open Arms. Instead, she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete customer satisfaction. Dr. Swinehart, the army surgeon. Dr. Swinehart is a resident Fable Town physician, so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. He served as an army medic for many years, sometimes using his talents to impress the locals. He currently runs the special special, special re research section of the Knights of Malta Hospital. So named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserved fables focused health faci facility. Oh. And achievements. One, two, three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any games you'd like me to check out, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. So thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.